Hello everyone, so in this video I'm showing you how I make my animations. First, you're going to need to download Stick Notes. So, this is how you use the Stick Notes app, and I'm going to show you how I animate. So, um, first of all, I'm just going to show you, like, how it works. So, you take your, like, you move the person around, the, the Stick Note. The stick figure, you just gotta move it, you just kinda move it around like this. Or there's a little square in the middle that you can move on. Sometimes you might have to zoom in a little bit, but it's kinda hard. Make you can move the whole stick figure with. So, and the way you do this is okay, so I'm just gonna put my arm up in front of the animation. So you just kinda, uh, hold on. Oh, yeah, on the top left corner, if you mess up, if you accidentally make it bend over like this you can undo or if you, will, you want that to happen you just gotta redo so yeah you got the undo and redo buttons so I'm just gonna put my arm up and I'll show you, to show you how this works so on the top right corner you'll see the plus sign by a little screen if you click that that adds frames if you click the one that has the X by the screen it removes the frames so um you gotta move your arm a little bit to put the arm up, and you gotta add a frame. And you do the same thing, and you'll see there'd be there'd be like a ghost thing on where it was before. So yeah, he's gotta do that, and then play. Well, um, oh yeah. So before you upload this to YouTube or anything before you save it you want to turn on tweening and click OK so that way it looks like it's actually moving not just pictures changing so yeah that is how it works animating so what I have done in my past animations is I've changed the color of the shirt now how I do that is I click on the stick figure and um uh I forgot where it is. Um it's, you gotta scroll down or actually no you don't click on the stick figure. So click just the background until you see the quick menu on the top where it says app tools, project tools and all that all that on the top of the animation screen. And then go to the on the on the quick menu click the stick figure library and then edit stick figure. And then you can click a part of the shirt. Oh, hold on. So after you click it, you gotta scroll down until you see segment colors, and you can change that. So I'm just gonna make it. I'm gonna make the shirt color yellow. Okay, and then you gotta do that for each piece of the shirt. Yellow. 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 Okay, so you see that right there. I got a yellow shirt. I'm in a stick figure. So if you want to save the stick figure, you just gotta st save stick figure as. And I like to have the stick figure by the color of the shirt, so I have stick figure yellow because it has a yellow shirt. So yeah, that is some of how it works. So. Um, to delete a stick figure, if you want to remove it, you just gotta scroll to the top. Alright, you gotta click on the stick figure. Oh, wait, hold on. Let me just get out of this. You gotta get out of the editing screen. And then you gotta go to the top and delete stick figure. So, yeah. Alright, guys, so you can also, if you click on the quick menu, go to stick figure library. And you can click here to change a stick figure, or you can import stick figures from here, so, like the one we just created, the one that that has a yellow shirt um, let me just find it, stick figure yellow import and then you can add it, and it'll be there so 
what I'm going to do is, so this black line is the camera view. It's where the camera, yeah, it's the camera view. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to move this figure out of the way real quick. So that, I can add, and we got to import, so you can also have backgrounds. Just that. So you can also have background, like I'm going to have a background on a city. So, and then I'm going to import. Okay, and hold on, let me just... So, if you need to move a stick figure behind another stick figure, you can push backwards. Or if you need to go in front of one, you can just put, push forward. So, right now I need to push backwards because it's a background. And behind this yellow stick figure with the yellow shirt. Um, okay, so... Just gonna fix the legs. And then how I make the walking animation. So what I do is I just move the leg up, I add a frame, and then I move it a little bit to the right, and then I put it back down and add a frame. Or you could put the leg up and also move the arm, add a frame, and then Move this arm back, move it to, a little bit to the right. Ah, uh, darn it. Okay, this is. How did you mean? Okay, move it a little bit to the right. Move the leg back. Out of frame. Ah, oh, darn it. Undo. Now what happened? Okay. So. So yeah, it's, I can make the walking. Hold on, let me turn on tweeting. So I gotta go to animation tools, turn on tweeting, and then there we go. See, that's how walk the walking works. Now I'm gonna continue the walking animation until it's out of the can camera view. So I can go like this, add a frame, go over here, go like this. I, or I can also go like this. Now oh, wait, hold on. Yeah, I'll just go down like that. Maybe I'm just gonna continue to move. Leg, add a frame, move it a little bit to the right, and then move the legs back, and add another frame. So it looks something like this. Yeah, that's how I make my walking animations. So, now I'm going to talk about the tools. So, hold on. I'm going to delete all the stick figures. Alright, so. Uh, sorry about the background noise. Just getting the dog out of my room. Um, yes, once in a while, I'm gonna ask you to save, and I'm just gonna say, eh, I don't know what the title is, so I'm just gonna put title, or I'm just gonna put no title. I'm probably gonna delete this project too because nothing I'm really doing with it besides using it for a YouTube video. Yeah. Before you save this though, you always want to turn the tweening on. So, I'm going to go to the top. So the first is the app tools, which is on the top on the left. See, so you, you have new project, which is where you just open up a new project. Open project, if you click that. Um, 
and then you can open your past projects. So like my thief to a cop part two, I can just open that one up. It's gonna take a while because I have 70, 740 um, frames. And yeah, this is really how it is. It's a long kind of scroll, or you can. Yeah, on the bottom of the frames page, you can just move the little bar so you can scroll fast. And so yeah, let's let me just go back to this project. Ow. Okay, and then get get Stick Notes Pro. Yeah, it's just um telling you that you can buy Stick Notes Pro, which I don't have. If I do, I'll show a video of extra stuff that, that offers, but I do not have Stick Nodes Pro. And if you use Stick Nodes, you might be wondering, um, how do I save my videos? You'll see that. You'll see that. Here pretty soon I'm done talking about how Stick Nodes works. And then Rate Stick Nodes. Um, that's when Rate Stick Nodes just takes you to the App Store, and then visit sticknodes.com. You can really just add, um, you can download other Stick Nodes to the app. And then send files is where you can like send other stick notes that you've created to someone else that uses stick notes. I think I don't, I'm not really sure about that. A settings button it just brings you to some settings. I'm not gonna read through all of them. And then press the X to close out of them. And press the check mark to save them. So now you got project tools. Now you got the save or save as. The save just saves it. The save as is, is where you can put a title on, and you need to do that before you just save it because it, it wants the app will want you to have a title first. And um, export on GIF or uh, M a PNG. That's where you can just export it to your project to one of those. Now Pro feature only is to export to MP4. You can only do that with Pro, but I do know a way to do it without Pro, and I'll show you that. I'll show that in a little bit. Um, a project may contain only one background image. Um, oh yeah, it's just a background image that you can load. And then watermark. I don't really know what that's supposed to be. And I know what a watermark is, but like I. It's a, like choosing if you want to have stick notes, want to say stick notes on it, because usually like Hind Master, the editor I'm using, which would tell you to, well, well, you could only have the watermark unless you pay. And then animation, to animation tools, you have the animation FPS, which is the frames per second. Um, most of you guys should know that. Filters can cause lag, disable filters for better performance. Filters look much better when exported. So show filters, and you can like do low, medium, high right here. And then full screen is pro only. And here's the tweening, and then it's looping animation. Tweened. Uh, change frame 0 to 8, and I have 5 on there. That's the default setting. Um, and then you have stick figure library, which is... You can import a stick figure, and this is, I don't know what this is, um, hide, delete, oh, it's where you can hide or delete them. And then this is where you can choose from the stick figures you imported, and then you can add the stick figure. Let me just delete that, or you can edit the stick figure, or even create a new stick figure. But, let me just cancel that, because I'm sure. Okay, and you can also download stick figures and submit a stick figure. I actually don't know if you need a pro for that or not. And then you have movie clip libraries. Import a movie clip. I don't know what it's supposed to be. Um, I guess there's little movie clips. I don't know. Then you have text field tools. That's when you have like little text. So you have to scroll all the way to the top to edit them. So I'm just going to put hello. Oh, and then you can make them bigger or smaller. You can even change the color. Okay, yeah, you can even change the color. And if you're using it to like label what the stick figures are saying, like I've done, you're gonna want to add lots of frames so people actually have time to read it. So, 
depends on how many words you have, how long it needs to be. Okay, so that's all the tools. Up here, I don't really know what this is up here. And view options. Um show only main nodes. I don't know, I guess there's another settings, but right here, if you click this right here, it's the copy. And then you can click the one on the bottom to paste. I'm just going to delete those two. And then hold on, add. Yeah, if, um, for text field, you have to scroll all the way down and click the delete button. So, yeah. That is how you do that. So, how do you... How do you save the stick fig the, the stick node now? So you're gonna wanna be okay, hold on. So you're just gonna wanna be screen recording. You wanna screen record the whole animation that you just made to save it. And you have the screen recording saved with photos. Just come over here, click edit. And then you can cut out the screen recording part. And then what you can do is you can click the crop thing on the side. Okay, hold on. like that and then you click the crop and then you just crop it you just crop it down towards full screen video and now it says preparing video see have it quick enter and then so yeah that's how that's how you can do that so bye guys